Welcome everyone to transfer everything to your new iPhone 15 Pro and I really mean everything from your old iPhone will be moved over. On your iPhone 15 Pro we must be on the setup screen. So if you see the home screen or the lock screen the first step is I want you to open up the settings and from here I want you to scroll down until you see general and then scroll to the bottom until you see transfer or reset iPhone. You are then going to tap on erase or content and settings, continue and then erase iPhone. Once we see the hello screen on our iPhone 15 Pro, we need to go through the setup until we see this following screen. The screen in question is quick start and on your old iPhone you should have a message to continue and start the transfer but I do not have the message so the first step to troubleshoot is we're going to open the settings and in the settings I want you to make sure Wi-Fi is on and Bluetooth is on and the iPhone is discoverable in Bluetooth as well if both of those requirements are met, but we still don't see any message, then we're going to hold power and volume down together. And we're going to use this to turn off our iPhone. So I'm going to try again. We're going to slide the power off. And once the phone is off, we'll hold the power button to turn it back on. And then we'll wait on the home screen until we get the message. Now let's wait patiently on the home screen for the message. And there it is, set up new iPhone. And we're gonna tap on continue to start the setup. It now says, hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So using your old iPhone, scan this bubble that you see right here. And then we'll be patient while things are getting ready. It says set up new iPhone, use your Apple ID to set up. And if this new 15 Pro is for you, set up for me. If it's for your child, create a child account. But I'm gonna set up for me. The iPhone 15 Pro is now going to activate. This is just gonna make sure that there is no previous owner lock. If there is a lock and it's asking you to sign in, you will need to contact the previous owner to get that lock removed. And if you can't remove the lock, return the phone as soon as possible. Now, if you have a launch model iPhone 15 Pro, we're going to get this screen. Software update. Important. Update your software now if you want to transfer data from another iPhone. The launch iPhone 15 Pros released with software where transferring data doesn't work. So we need to tap on update now if it's asking us and we need to patiently wait for the new software update which allows the data transfer to work to finish. This may take up to half an hour so I'll agree the terms and conditions and I'll come back once the software update has finished. If you are doing a software update you should see this Apple screen and the progress bar. Don't worry just wait until this is finished. Once the software update has completed, we see the hello screen again, and we will need to head back to the quick start menu. On the old iPhone, we just close any messages we see. And if it's not asking to do the setup, then we will need to turn off and back on the old iPhone one more time. And I'm gonna do this one now. And now we see set up new iPhone again. We'll tap on continue. Uh, many of the steps we did earlier, we will have to repeat, like scanning our new iPhone like this, but we will see eventually that we will be able to proceed further than last time as we did do that software update. If you did not need to do a software update, then all of this, you won't have to repeat the quick start, you would only need to do once. So I will set up for me again, and this time, it's not asking for the software update, 
only 15 Pro is asking us to agree to the data and privacy. Uh, the only option is to select continue. It's now asking us to set up Face ID. I would recommend you do this, but for the video, I will set up later. If you set up Face ID, you would be required to create an iPhone passcode. I'm personally going to select passcode options and then don't use, but it is highly recommended to create a passcode. And there we go, transfer data from and then the old iPhone. Let's tap on continue. And now it's going to import the Apple ID account from our old iPhone to our new 15 Pro. And it's asking me to enter in a password, which I will do now. And the terms and conditions, you must agree to these conditions. Otherwise, you will not be able to use any Apple services. So you need to agree to that. And now the Apple account will sign in. We see here, make this your new iPhone. Let's tap on continue. Location services, I would recommend you enable the location services. This just allows maps, weather to operate. You can manually disable location for certain apps and all apps have to ask for the location permission. So I recommend you turn that one on. iPhone analytics, this is optional. So I'm personally not going to share. Emergency SOS, this is just a message. We'll select continue. And now the data transfer will start. If you had a physical SIM card or eSIM in your old iPhone, on your iPhone 15 Pro, it may ask you to transfer the physical SIM or eSIM over. If that's the case, you will need to select continue. If it asks you to set up mobile service or activate eSIM, I will have a dedicated tutorial on how to activate eSIM in the description if you need help. And so we just need to wait for this one to complete. We can now see here, transfer complete. And if we tap on continue on our old iPhone, it's gonna ask us to erase this phone. I would not recommend doing this just yet. We're gonna tap on not now, and we're gonna wait for the data transfer to finish first. So after our new iPhone has restarted, we see restore completed. And it's just gonna ask us to set up the stuff I skipped. Sign up mode. There is a new way to activate the silent mode. I'll cover that when we are on the home screen. With iPhone 15 Pro, you have an action button. So if you long press what was the silent button, you can turn on or off silent mode, or you have the customize button, which will let you program that action button to do whatever you would like. And then welcome to iPhone, swipe up to get started. You can now see literally everything should be the same on your new iPhone as your old iPhone. But the reason why we don't factory reset the old iPhone is because on your new one, I want you to open every single app which you have an account for and make sure that you are signed into your account. If you're not, you will need to sign in again. And uh, having the old iPhone, just make sure that maybe if there's a verification code or two factor authentication, that you can use your old iPhone to get past the login on your new iPhone. The silent mode can be accessed by swiping down from the far right hand side of the screen. And you see the silent button. You can tap this to turn off or on silent mode. Check my channel for more iPhone videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.